Hey, what's going on, everybody? Gerald Elford here, coming to you live from the beautiful, hot, and sunny San Antonio, Texas. And guys, when I tell you that it is hot, man, I'm talking about when you step onto the porch, you immediately get beat up by the heat. I'm talking about you can't wipe the sweat off with just a regular sweat rag or, you know, just your hands. You need your entire arm as so. Oh, oh, that's how hot it is, man. But really, I just wanted to have a brief conversation with you guys. Um, since we're talking about San Antonio, about the power of teamwork. Because San Antonio, we are the NBA champions this year for 2014. The Spurs did take it. Hey, Spurs fans. But uh, <laughs> the reason that I and many others feel that the Spurs are champions is because uh, teamwork, guys. We work cohesively as a team. Matter of fact, I don't remember which game it was, but one of the games, uh, everybody on the Spurs scored. I'm not just talking about the starters. I'm talking about the dudes on the bench. They got off the bench, got in the game, and scored. Everybody on the team scored. That teamwork. Popovich runs it cohesively like a team. When you think about the San Antonio Spurs, while you might think of you know certain key players, you will always picture uh, them as a team. And as last year when Danny Green emerged as a beating Ray Allen's three point record in the in the finals, uh, you know. And this year with Kawhi blowing up more, you start to you know, keep asking, you know, who's that guy? Who's that guy? I remember getting a text from my cousin. He's like, yo, who the hell is Splitter? And I was like, yeah, man. It's a team. When you think about the Heat, you only really think about LeBron James, you know, Chris Bosh, and Dwayne Wade. And, you know, mainly LeBron James. Really? So it's no secret why the Spurs came up with a great victory, a gentleman's win, if you ask me. You know, 4-1, that's a gentleman's sweep. That is a gentleman's sweep. Hey, you got one. It's, it, it's pretty much sweet. But anyways, the reason that the Spurs overcame the Heat is because they worked as a team. Instead of just one or maybe three players putting in work with, with a supporting cast, everybody on the Spurs play. And they work with team. Do you see that ball movement? That's the type of things that you need to have. That's the type of, of, of strategies that you need to have. You need to work as a team. If you're trying to, you know, complete your goals and your dreams and all the things that you want to do in life by yourself, chances are you are struggling and you're struggling hard. You need to grab yourself a piece of paper and write down everything that you need and then figure out how you can collectively work this instead of just how you can work it by yourself. Because, guys, it, it sounds cheesy to some people, but teamwork does make the dream work. No one that's ever walked this planet has ever, ever became successful by themselves. You understand me? If you're a religious person, even Jesus couldn't reach his, his plateau you know what I'm saying? Without the disciples, and more specifically, without Judas. If Judas never betrayed him, he would have never been caught up and would have never been on the cross glorified for all of man's all of man's sins. You understand me? So there is true power in a team. I just want you to, you know, take something out of that. And if you got something, it brought you a little bit of value. It gave you some motivation. It gave you some golden nuggets in your ear. Please give this video a thumbs up and leave your comments down below. I would love to hear from you guys. And if you enjoy stuff like this, talking about success, about your purpose, your passion, and how to transform your life, then go ahead and visit themoneybusiness.net. There's tons more information about how to transform your life and how to live purposely on there. So once again, guys, it's Gerald Alford wishing you joy, happiness, and laughter. You guys have a great one.